Hey, power family. How you doing today? Different change of scenery. I'm in my garage today, um, only because it's circuit day. Um, I set up my garage, cleaned it out as part of um, you know quarantining and uh, boredom, um, and thought that I could bring whatever I had in my basement and storage from my old boot camps that I used to teach outside uh, into my garage. So I've got a TRX that hangs. I've got a boxing bag over here, some cardio. Uh, a bike and uh, some mats. So I'm out here today and we're going to do our power moves from here. <clears throat> um, just so that you can see spatially what you can do if you have a basement in your living room, that's great too. Alright, <clears throat> I hope everybody's well. I haven't done a, a video in a couple of days. Um, I had an eye infection on Monday. Uh, my eye was swollen. I looked like Rocky Balboa uh, and it hurt. So I went to the doctor, um, which is interesting to go to the doctor at this time. Um, and you know, an empty office. They see one person at a time and got some eye drops in my eyes. Much better, less swelling. So good to be back. So today we're gonna do um, about three or four power moves flows. Then we're gonna move into uh, some balance exercises um, and then into our circuit. And then I'm gonna do another video for cardio for you that will be posted separately. So there'll be two videos posted for you. So you have a couple of things that you wanna choose from for the long weekend for Easter to burn off all that chocolate. I have a lot of chocolate, that's why I'm out here doing this today. <laughs> I've been eating it. All right, so what we're gonna start with today first is our power down. So if you wanna do this from sitting, you can do this from sitting as well. Sitting down in your chair, nice and tall. Again, hinging forward at the hips. You wanna make sure your torso is getting in between your legs. So it's almost like if you were gonna to touch the floor and tie your shoes, your legs are gonna be as wide as they can so we can open up the hips and get a really good stretch. Okay, again, from standing, again, wide feet. You don't wanna keep them close. Okay, wide feet, almost like a football stance, like you're ready to take a tackle. Okay, so you're gonna start with your power down, power up, one. Power down, two. Power down, three. Power down, four. Power down, five. Everything's creaking on my body. Six, <laughs> seven. Power down, eight. Wide fingers, tall chest. Nine, good. Get louder, 10. 11, pick up the pace. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20. Great. Get some heart rate going. Just a little bit. All right, now we're going to start with our reach and diagonals. Again, you can do this from sitting. Okay, so from sitting, what it will look like is here. You're going to power down, power up, reach, diagonal, left, right diagonal, left hand reach, power down. Okay, if I'm standing, a soft floor, it's rubber. All right, you're gonna do your power down, power reach. I forgot I added a, a power up in there. I want you to go directly to a reach. Okay, so your right hand reach, left hand diagonal, right hand diagonal, left hand reach. Okay, then we're gonna just cross back and forth and continue that flow. Okay, we're gonna count where the reach is in a number, diagonal is A or B. Okay, so we're gonna do that up to 20. Okay, for our numbers, and then uh, I think B. Yeah, B, I think in the alphabet, and if I screw it up, oh well, I'm human. Okay, ready? Power down, one, A, B, two, C, D, three, E, F, four, is that right? One, two, three, four, <laughs> and we're on F. Okay, F, G, H, five, I, J, where are you now, Stuart, I need you. Six, K, L, seven, M, 
So shoulders back, chest nice and tall. D, W, 13. X, Y. <laughs> I screwed up somewhere, I'm sure. Is this 14? Maybe 12? Okay, I'll say this is 12, sure. All right. Z, A, power down. All right. Let's just do that without thinking so hard, so we're just getting into a flow. So let's just do five more so we keep the heart rate elevated. All right, power down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. There we go. Much easier when you just do straight and great. All right, next what we're going to do is a power step. Okay, so I'm just going to move my BOSU out of the way. All right, so you're going to do a power step. So power down, watch first. Power step to the right. Right hand reach, left hand twist. Right hand reach, left hand diagonal. Right hand diagonal. Power step left. Okay, or we can do a power down in the middle too if you're finding that you're getting out of breath. Okay, so power down, ready, go. One, reach, two, twist, three, reach, four, diagonal left, five, diagonal right, six. If you power down here, great. Okay, so let's just do that, then we can do our power step. So what was that? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be seven. Power step into our power up. Power step eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Left, right hand, 26, 27, 28, go, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, go, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, go, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, go, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 more, go, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, go, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, good, getting the heart rate up, feeling the flow. I said two more and I stopped counting into my uh, later numbers. Funny, you recognize the things you do when you're not paying attention. All right, next what we're gonna do is Sylvester the cat. So Sylvester the cat, from sitting, okay, if you're doing this, all you're gonna do is just sneak your feet forward, sneak them back, out to the side wide, in nice and narrow, under your chair, back. Now Sylvester the cat and Bugs Bunny always walked very gingerly when he was trying to get to Tweety Bird. So the reason we're walking up on our tippy toes is to work the stabilizer muscles in the calves. So in order to do that and get those muscles warmed up, we're just going to do some calf raises. Okay, about five or six of these, three, four, five, six, and I just want you to do a weight transfer back and forth just to get your calves warmed up. Hopefully they're not cramping for you. Okay, and I just want you to practice and hold one leg at a time. Okay, rocking side to side. Okay, holding one leg, nice and big, expanding that swoop. Okay, hold, go. Okay, hold, Sylvester, we're just getting those legs warmed up. Good. Keep it up, hold. Okay, so I'm going to
going to do this sideways so you can see what I'm doing. So Sylvester was up on his tippy toes. Now, the one thing I don't want you to do is to like catch your shoe or your foot on each other. So you're going to literally bring it around so you're on your tippy toes. I've offset my feet a bit because my right hip, left hip in my world, right hip to you is sore. So I don't want to tighten all these muscles a little bit more. So if your hips are grumpy, just keep your feet stacked one over. If they're not too grumpy, you can go tandem, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up on your tippy toe balance, obviously the thing. Try thumbs up or palms up to keep your balance or use something that you have to share if you need it, okay, for balance, okay? And you're gonna literally scoop that foot around and purposefully plant it. You're gonna scoop it around and purposefully plant it. Scoop it around, woo, and purposefully plant it. I'm not paying attention, I'm looking at you guys, I'm like, balance sucks. All right, so we're gonna go to a rhythm of one, two, three, then you're gonna go back to three, back, two, three. One, two, three, back, two, three. And I'm gonna pick up the pace on that as we go, and eventually I'm gonna get you into a pivot. So a pivot is when you're up on your feet, feet are wide, pivot and turn, okay? So your last step, if I'm going one, two, three, my last step, I want it big, because I want to be wide if I'm pivoting so I don't lose my balance. Okay, then small, small, big. All right, ready? Let's just do three or four per side, okay? So wide feet, football stance again, glutes are engaged, abdomen supported, like I had my hand on the front and my hand on the back. That is enough pressure for my core to be engaged. I don't want to push, okay? Not holding my breath, making sure I'm breathing, okay? So we're gonna turn to our right, okay? And we're gonna go one, two, three. Back, two, three. Okay, so same direction, two more times. One, two, three. Back, two, three. Good, I'm gonna move forward. All right, one, two, three. That was really out of sync. Back, two, three, all right? Now with your pivot, okay, so you're gonna pivot and go the other direction, staying on your tippy toes if you can. If you need to, rock back and forth. My balance is off today. Everything's a little sore. All right, ready? One, two, three, back, two. to turn to my right, okay, one, two, three, back, two, three, pivot, I'm going to move my chair, one, two, three, back, two, three, pivot, okay, one, two, three, back, two, three, pivot, woo, balance, chair, pull your toe up, heel going towards it, and just lean into it, okay? Or you can do slight bent knee, half stretch, okay? Stretch your hamstrings out as well, push your hip back, hand goes on the bent knee, keep your back nice and straight, okay? Do a soleus stretch. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, this side as well. And the last one that you can do to stretch the front muscles in your shin is bring your toe back, push your hip forward, bend your knee slightly, squeeze your glute, and dig your toe, the tip of your shoe in like it's gonna drag, okay? 
and then the other side, toe, knee, hip, glute, Whew, good job. Okay, next what we're going to do, now these pivots here, these other ones are like capoeira, okay, so your wide feet, okay, now I'm going to say pivot, uh, left leg forward, okay, and you're, I'm going to say go. Okay, so wide stance, hands up, left leg forward, go. Okay, are you facing the same way? Left leg back, go. Okay, right leg forward, go. Good, right leg back, go. Okay, left leg forward, go. Left leg forward, go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you a sequence. Um, right leg forward, left leg back. Go. I ran out of room. I had to pivot over here by my ball. <laughs> Get a shuffle over here a little bit more. All right. So it was right leg forward, left leg behind me. So the left leg here, back, means that it comes behind me. And forward means it goes to the front. So sometimes it's helpful to have your hands up so you know which direction you're going to go. Okay, so we'll do one more. Um, right, forward, left, back, right, forward. Okay, so go. Right, forward, left, back. I have not enough room. Uh, I'm going to do it over again. Right, forward, left, back, right, forward. All right, so we should be facing away from me. Oh, that made me dizzy. So maybe don't do that one. All right, we'll do one more. We'll do left forward, right forward, left back. Go. Left forward, right forward, left back. And I'm way over here where all our bites and mopeds and stuff are. All right, enough of that. But that's something that you can practice. And the only reason I'm doing it is because it involves something in our circuit today uh, that you can do over soup cans or little tiny hurdles like I have here. All right, so our circuit today is one minute of each exercise. There's 10, and you can go through them two or three times. So we're gonna go through the first one together. So you can do all of these from seated as well. I've come up with alternatives for you, okay? So the first one is a wall ball. So I have a 12 pound medicine ball here I bought years ago, so the wall ball. I can toss this against a wall if I want, but I'm not going to because my paddle board's there. We'll get stuck behind. Or I can squat down, toss the ball up, and catch the ball at the bottom. Now what I want to make sure you're not doing is if you're catching it here and you're swinging your hips back and you're rounding your back out like you're catching it, okay, you're going to keep your head nice and neutral. Hold the ball here like you can't wait to get rid of it and push it, squat down, push, catch, use your core, and bring it back down with you. So the weight is uh, as we propel the ball and as we receive it. Okay, so one minute. The alternative, if you don't have a ball, is an orange or something else that you have that's not gonna break, that's not gonna hurt you as you toss it down. Okay, so the ball or the orange, catch. Again, there's not a lot of weight but it's a cognitive exercise to throw and catch and squat and not fall over at the same time, okay? The wall ball from seated, okay? Again here, you're gonna rock forward, just even against a wall. If you have a tennis ball, bounce the ball towards the wall, okay? If you can't get up, just toss the ball or orange and catch, okay? You're still using your core. Okay, the next exercise is um, the mountain step. Okay, so for those of you that are in the chair, okay, what you're going to do is, uh, ooh, what is that one? Okay, you're just going to step to the side, okay, 10 times each leg, okay, step to the side, 10 times each leg, hands off your legs. We don't want to, we can activate the core, pushing through the palms of our hands, but what it does in the system is the hip flexors, again, if you're not feeling great today, you can rock back, kicking back and forward on your chair, using uh, leverage here, 
Okay, so what this one's going to look like, uh, I'll fortunate it back. Okay, so there's my little there. Okay, so for the rest of you, you're going to do 10, okay, stepping from the stool, okay, if you have, if you're feeling great today, a harder version of that is on a BOSU, I have my own BOSU, okay, so you're going to do a wide step mountain climber 10 times, okay, you're doing it from the chair, okay, pretending um, down here, so I have a little bit of a runway, okay, 10 of these, and you're going to get up, you're going to just jog, and get back down and do your kneeling mountain climber. Same with on this stability ball. Okay, next one. Uh, pull downs. Okay, so a pull down. Where's my resistance band? Okay, so um, I have a hook over here. You can put this on a banister. Okay, so your lap pull downs. You're gonna push, I need a longer band. Push from here, keeping the shoulders back and down. Feed it back, push down, pull back, squeezing those shoulder blades. Hold it for a second, okay? If you can't do that, if you don't have anything to hook it on, keep them pushing back from standing on the resistance band. We'll work those lats. A door handle if you tie it around safely. Um, Anything that you can loop this around, okay, will work for a pullback. Okay, so you want to keep your chair, your uh, posture nice and tall, one foot in front of the other. What happens when we go wide is we sink the hips when we pull back and push our pelvis forward. Offsetting the foot position, squeezing the glute, stabilizing the pelvis keeps us rigid and our shoulders back and down. All right, next, uh, you can use pantyhose too, whatever you have that's got a little bit of resistance in it. Next one is the pivot steps. Okay, so like I said, we are doing the pivots for a reason. I have some cones here, and if you don't have cones, what you can do is use soup cans. Soup cans, okay, given that we've probably gone through a lot of stuff in our pantry, we might still have more, even like a box of spaghetti or lasagna noodles because it has some height and you have to work yourself over it. Now I'm going to challenge myself on this. I'm going to hold this 12 pound ball. Okay? So I'm going to stand wide. So I'm going to do right leg forward, pivot, left leg forward, pivot, right leg forward, pivot, left leg forward, pivot. Slam the ball at the bottom. Squat down, pick it up. Pivot, squat, pivot, squat, pivot, squat. Okay, you can hold weights on your shoulders and not slam the ball. You can do whatever you want. Okay, just keep the feet nice and wide in this position. Okay, the next one you're going to do is a swing lunge. So a swing lunge, I like soup cans. Swing lunge is you're going to step forward and step back with the same leg. Okay, so seated, what that will look like is you're just going to slide your leg back, okay, and forward like a kick, and back like a kick. Okay, we're gonna work our quads a little bit and those hip flexors, okay? For those of you that are gonna do this from standing, okay, balance is an issue. Okay, you're gonna take your left leg, step forward, back knee drops, Bring it, I gotta give myself more room. I'm short, but I can do the split so I can get really wide pretty quick. All right, so left leg forward, step, push back, try not to tap in the middle, stepping in between. Forward and back. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself, put a soup can in the middle so you're making sure you're clearing it or a foam roller or a yoga mat just so that you're absolutely making sure you're clearing it every time. Again, you can do those slider lunges we did in an earlier video at your kitchen counter. If you've got grumpy knees, Norma, I'm talking to you, okay? Your grumpy knees are gonna require you to have one knee 
pushed up, the other one slides back, keeping your posture nice and tall, hinging at that hip so you're not leaning back. Okay, coming back up to standing. All right, one minute or 30 seconds each leg for a minute total. Or 10 on one leg, 10 on the other, and swap back and forth, but you don't want to do a minute on each leg. Okay, the next one you're going to do is a zigzag. Okay, so the zigzag with the cones or the suit cans is going to look like a lateral movement. Those of you seated in a chair, okay, want you to do a higher kick and back. Ten times higher, like a total roundhouse, and bring it back if you're sitting, okay? Just get those legs moving. Okay, or you can tie um, a band around your knees and go wide for the adductors, and ab, ab and ab adductors, okay? All right, so a zigzag is a big step forward, laterally, big, almost like a skeeter, okay? I'm gonna challenge myself and go backwards because my backward step isn't nearly as big as my front, okay? So you're gonna zigzag, left or right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, okay, for a minute. Next one is um, boom whacker. All right, so I came up with some other alternatives for the boom whacker. If you don't want to take out your tin foil, okay, you can use <laughs> plastic spoons. There's a, a challenge now that there's that Phil Collins song when you can do the drum challenge. I haven't done it, maybe I should. All right, wide feet, step, reach, step, reach, okay? Both hands, you can tap the ground, do a jumping jack, reach, reach, diagonal, diagonal, whack the ground, you can do squat, tap, squat, tap, you do whatever you want, for a sequence, whatever you want, look at the tips of these as you're reaching, that's the point, or you can step behind, 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 forward, forward, reach, do whatever you want, okay? Next one we're gonna do is a ladder or some agility. Okay, so I have a ladder, I didn't lay it out. Uh, so what you can do is one, two, three, four, five, okay? Again, if you're sitting in the chair, um, you're gonna do small steps all the way around the chair, okay? Quick rapid feet in the chair, side to side, okay? As long as you're moving, you can do heel taps, under your chair, push out, open up, okay? Press to the front, in your chair, do whatever you like, do a happy, do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around. All right, um, and then the last one is a step up. So I just brought out a step stool. I didn't want to move my camera around. Okay, so if you have steps in your house, I tried this on um, the second step, of my house, which would bring my leg up to 90 degrees, and my hand on the banister. Now, the trick with this is not just to stand straight up. You want to hinge your hip like you're in a sprinter start. Okay, really isolate the glutes. Okay, the whole foot is on the step. Okay, I'm going to step up. Okay, reach my opposite foot down, keeping that leg on. Okay, reaching forward, coming back. You can do 30 seconds per leg of that one as well. All right, so that's it for our garage, our grunge garage circuit. It's actually pretty clean in here. You know, I think we did a pretty good job for uh, making an improv home gym. So I hope you enjoy this. Let us know if you have any concerns or questions, and I'll see you in a few minutes on the cardio circuit. We're gonna be doing some boxing, uh, which I haven't done a lot of with you guys, but I love boxing. I have my own bag and my own gloves. Um, so I want to teach you a bit because it not only works for balance, but for many other things too, and it's physically exhausting as well as a quick little tobacco. So I'll see you in a few minutes. I got to set up. Bye.